I'm Erin Rosar. Welcome to this week's episode of WGTV. I want to talk about beers this week. It's fall here, and we've had some snow actually today in Calgary, so winter's coming fast. But I thought, especially in celebration of Oktoberfest, and maybe you don't know, but in the early 1800s, the first Oktoberfest was held to celebrate the wedding between a, a prince and a princess. And so the town of Munich was asked to celebrate for five days in regards to the wedding celebration. So this is our beginning of Oktoberfest. So I thought it was only fitting at the beginning of their anniversary time, so to speak, that we traditionally celebrate to talk about beer. Now in beer, we have two main styles that things break down. We have ales and we have lagers. The thing you need to know about these are ales are a little richer, a little thicker, and for fall they're going to be a little more aromatic and go with things like stews and pot roasts and a little food friendly in regards to winter foods. Lagers are generally a little lighter, a little more refreshing, um, and definitely lighter in color as well, and definitely good for summer foods when you want that cool refreshing flavor. We serve lagers in a tall pilsner style of glass. They were traditionally made around areas with um, cold lakes so they could cut out the ice to be able to do them. Um, ales have top fermenting yeast, which is just sort of a bit of fun, geeky wine stuff, and Lagers use bottom fermenting yeast. So these are two differences in the way that they are actually made. Now Lagers you're going to enjoy in uh, like a tall glass, like I said, and well chilled. You're going to play around with the temperature of ales a little bit because some of them are going to be very um, rich and aromatic and you're going to want to see what temperature you want to serve them at. You might start with them a little chilled and find that you actually like them to serve a little bit warmer. So it's going to be up to you. The third beer I have in front of me here this evening is um, a wheat beer. And these are a lot of fun and as a girl I really enjoy them and I wanted to share the style with you. Now instead of using a barley or a rye or a cereal grain like some of these, this is using wheat and what you'll find is most wheat beers are unfiltered so they're going to be cloudy in your glass so don't worry if they look a little funny. This one is actually um, a recipe that's been around since the 1400s and most wheat beers are flavored with a bit of citrus whether it's orange or a bit of lemon and this one's actually got some carbonate in it as well so it's got a nice little spice to it so really fun beer to try. But in regards to things to know, the basics in regards to beer, you have ales and lagers. Ales are going to be a little richer, a little creamier, more aromatic. You're going to have more flavors of toffee, toast, vanilla, um, things like that. Really delicious. Lagers are more citrus based, a little more lemon, a little more lime, fresher. And we generally enjoy these in summer, ales in the winter. Very food friendly. Don't forget about serving beers in regards to winter time. And stouts we'll try later. And for those of you who are aware of the style of Guinness, don't be afraid to try those with chocolate brownies because that's a really fun food pairing as well. So everybody have a great week. I'll see you next week. We'll enjoy some great wine and beer hopefully this week. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Cheers, everybody.